Make sure everybody's loaded. And also, let's do this. <laughs> Have I ever mentioned to you guys how much I love explosives in this game? Welcome back, everybody, to 7 8 I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to go out and start hitting POIs like crazy. We want to get the all the POIs cleared in this town. I'm, I would say I have at least half of them done, probably even more than that, but I, I'm not 100% sure about that. So we're going we're gonna to hit them hard uh, because I want to uh, move. So uh, I showed you there in the opening montage uh, some of the off-camera stuff. We made our, uh, our steel pick, which really came in handy because... Um, I ended up making a few more changes on the horde base, including, ouch, um, cutting out the roof and raising it up. So now, as you can see, it's a three block high roof, so we don't continue taking damage from vultures uh, on the horde night. I also upgraded the first three blocks all the way around the base here to steel. And I added two more ladders on uh, one on each side. So we have a total of five ladders going up. And those are also all upgraded to steel. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got a little bit allergy thing going on this this morning. So, so I apologize for sounding stuffy. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much the changes that we made to uh, the horde base. And um, should be good. Um, I heard, I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard that you don't see, uh, where's our job at? Uh, the, you don't start seeing demos until game stage 150. And I am currently at 106. So as long as we're not, assuming that's true, of course, as long as we're not at 150 by um, the next Horde Night, then we should be able to get through one more Horde Night without demos. Okay, so this is just a, a tier one quest, but I took it because if the trader does have POIs for us to do that we haven't done yet, we might as well do them as quests because we get a little bit, you know, more for it. So let's go hit this and then we'll just keep taking whatever wrecked has for us that's a new POI. And if we get to the point where, well, that's almost technically not in town, is it? <laughs> yeah, we'll go hit it anyway. Um, if we get to the point where, you know, he no longer has quests for us, um, on that, on a given day, we're just going to do them randomly. Um, I want to be checking stumps here for, for honey. There we go. All right. Cause I'm out of honey. I do have herbal antibiotics, but I'd rather save those, especially if, you know, if we're going to need to be letting ourselves get 
further stages of infection for the achievements, uh, we really want to hang on to the higher level antibiotics. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to do that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not usually a big achievement guy in games, uh, but the nice thing about these achievements or challenges is that you get tangible rewards for them, so they are certainly worth doing. And I would like to think that if we go to all the trouble to get a stage 3 infection, um, that we get a decent enough reward for that. But I guess we'll see about that. Alright, is there any preluding we want to do? I don't think so. Let's just go. This is a fetch quest. Is there a Zom in there? Nope. <laughs> no Zoms. Okay. I'm going to go fairly quickly through here. Um, it is just a tier one. Though that doesn't mean... You know, the zombies are based upon your game stage, not a tier, I think. So we could still have some nasty Zeeks in here. Maybe. So far, nothing too impressive. Look at that. Guess we'll grab that. Still grabbing plastic, pretty much want to keep that trend going because plastic is worth a lot of money. Plus, it's really useful you know, for making steel arrows and that sort of thing, too. So this is just kind of like a maze with zombadoodles popping out everywhere. So does that mean all of these are potential hiding spots? I think so. Um, I can't get through there. Alright, how are we supposed to get over there? I've never been in this POA either, by the way. I'm not sure if that's the way we were supposed to go, but it's the way we went. Load your weapons. Can I have my arrow back, please? My bolt. Uh, is that floor going to break? I hear a Zika doodle somewhere. Oh! Yeah, see? These guys are ferals. We'll take all of that. Let's grab the fat loots. Um, when I have enough room, I'm going to take... Oh, that's good. I'm going to take stuff back and use our nerd nerd armor to... Uh, I already got a, level, a blue level raider helmet, so that... I think we'll scrap that for the parts. And another helmet light mod. Okay, that's good. You know, and when we have space, you know, when it's practical to do so, we'll uh, bring the magazines back and read them with the nerd armor. But I'm not going to always do that. It just kind of depends upon our inventory situation and how far away we are from the base and so forth. All right, there's stuff here for steel. Not that I need that now because I can make it, but for future reference, if we do a new playthrough, this is wouldn't be a too bad of a place to come for steel. I see three transformers already. I don't know if that satellite dish gives any steel. Anyway, let's go ahead and go do the turning and then we'll take the next job. I should be using my ratchet, which I didn't bring with me because I wasn't actually going to do any salvaging today. Grab ourselves a little bit of game there. Hunting rifle quality five. Okay. We're finally accumulating some glue and duct tape, so that's a good thing, of course. 
happy about that. Um, let's also top off our food and our drink. Great, here you go. Don't spend it all. I think I'll take place. the glue. All right, next job. Uh, I'm not doing buried supplies. This fetch is too far out of town. That's, yeah, all of these I think are too far out of town, except for the buried supplies, which isn't really, doesn't count. Previous tier. We got a fetch that's 500 meters. Look, Buckhead, I'll give you We've already work. done Ingles. Unbelievable. Um, you drifters come in we have here a, looking an infested I got work to do if you don't mind getting your hands dirty. This... Okay, this might be in town. What? Yeah, Skeeter's place is not in town, so we're going to skip that one too. Let's see if he has any more tier ones. None of these are in town or they're buried supplies. Okay, we're going we're going uh, freestyle today. <laughs> Rex doesn't have, uh, Rex doesn't have any jobs for us. So we'll check him again tomorrow. And uh, let's yeah, let's just go freestyle. I'm gonna leave um, the Fates Hotel till we hit get to tier four, so that way we can actually do it as a job and get a lot more for it. Um, there's this camp over here. I don't think I've actually been in in the camp directly, so let's do it. Check it out. There's probably maybe a soldier. Yeah, there's a soldier zombo right there. And very likely another one inside the tent. Yeah, there is zombo in the tent. Oh, shit. But there's a barbed wire here. Slow him down a little bit. Will you guys just die, please? <laughs> oh, we got a level. Nice. And, okay, we'll save those for reading with our nerdy whatever it's called. Very good. Um, let's go ahead and grab the wood. Got some food here. Uh, wait, I'm so used to just reading them. I'm trying to restrain myself here. <laughs> uh, we'll take that back. Oh, munitions box. Wow. A pretty significant POI for such a small POI. But, you know, with all the soldiers they're in, it's not, certainly wasn't something I would have wanted to take on in the very early game. I think I'll leave the chairs. I knew I can take him and scrap them, but that's good enough. Okay. Let's go over here uh, to this little farm, too. I've, I've actually been in there, but I haven't, like, completely cleared it. And I, if I recall correctly, I think there's a wolf inside the shed here. think there's any piggly wigglies I am also going to harvest all these just because I used up all of my seasoned meat to make a big batch of uh, hobo stew so I kind of replenish some of that this is a quick and easy source of it Is a backpack in there? Okay. Again, I don't think there are any pigs in here. Um, there's a corn plant that I missed. I think that's it for all the corn. Because I did come in here at one point and grab that stuff. Plastic, and then get ready for the wolf. 
Sorry, buddy. But, you know, you would have bit me if I hadn't done that, so. Alright, I guess that's it for here. I'm going to drop off all this stuff at the base, read those magazines, and then we'll just randomly go hit something else. It is kind of fun to just do random POIs, because then you're not under the trader's schedule, you know? You just do it whatever the hell you want, whenever you want. I like it. It's a good feeling. Let's put this hunter mod on our Kniffy. We'll wear this and read these guys. Sham chowder. Oh, man, that's some of my most favorite food in this game. Um, and we have five shams. We're making some sham chowder, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed we are. All of you can go in there. Top off our shoddy shells. All right, what do we need for sham chowder? Recipes. Track. Uh, water, corn, potatoes, and sham. Okay. Water, corn, potatoes, and sham. It'll take 11 and a half minutes. Close enough. Let's also uh, cook up this water here. Okay. I think we are ready to set out again. Let's go find another random POI. Everything on this end of town is done, POI-wise. So let's let's work. Let's make sure everything kind of to the east is finished, and then we'll then we'll work our way to the west. I don't think we've done this house here. We've looted the mailbox, but. Pretty sure we haven't been inside of here. Yeah, we haven't. Okay, so let's do this. It's coming from up above, down below. What are we doing? Okay. Zeke up there. Okay, we'll wait for her, her to come down. There's something back there? No, oh, it's just a skeleton. Oh, weapons bag, though. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, let's grab the plastic. And the cloth. I'm really low on paper. So we need to... We need to focus on paper whenever we can. Zombadoos in here. Huh? Oh man, look how fast I can loot now. That is just the best thing ever. Because we've maxed out Lucky Looter. Alright, let's take that right now. And we'll scrap these. Any dogs or something back here? There is, isn't there a dog house over here? Yes, there is. And there's a dog. Whoop. <laughs> Whoops. Say goodnight, Gracie. Takes care of Fido. Not seeing anything else out here. Okay, let's go upstairs. We don't need no stinking locked doors. Get out of the way. Uh, okay, there's nothing else in here. Not sure why that was even locked at all. What's that? Just a rug? Must be. There's some paper.
I'm gonna leave the bed. We're okay on those resources. Uh, okay, so where are we supposed to go then? We come up the stairs. Uh, out there? No? Hmm. Let's go back up here. I'm missing something. There's no place to go through here. Uh, there's no way out of here. Doesn't look like we're supposed to go that way. This door was locked. I'm, I'm confused. What am I missing? <laughs> uh, open. There's the carport. Um, all right, let's pull up to the roof then. Because, yeah, like I said, I'm not quite sure what the hell's going on here. Oh, okay, so I missed this at a catch. There's a knife guy. We'll wait and read that later. That's it, huh? Wow. Not much to this POI then, is there? Yeah, I totally missed that. Uh, maybe this, this must be a remnant. I, th I don't even think it's a quest house at all now that I think about it. Okay, well, it's done. Let's go all the way down this street and make sure we've hit everything over here. I've scooted through this park a couple times, but I haven't actually walked around in it. It's Arbor Park. Is there anything in here that we should be taking advantage of? Or is it just kind of a another remnant POI? Had a couple trashes and that's about it. Okay, I guess that's all there is to this place. We've already done this house. Pretty sure, uh, yeah, pretty sure we have. This is, yeah, sewage problem. Yeah, we've definitely done this house. Okay. Um, and it looks like we've done this house too because I got a storage thing and that door's open, so. It looks, looks familiar. We started to do this house, but we got overrun by a wandering horde. So let's actually finish this place. I'm going to put a few things in here. We need to uh, refuel our mini bike too. All right. I don't want either one of those things. Don't want that either. Looks like we've had some re-pops in here. Down with your sickness. Yeah, we got overrun by... by a horde in here. Where's he coming from? Down here? Oh. <laughs> they really tore the floor up in there. Okay. Uh, did we finish in here? These are just repopped sleepers is all. Yeah, this has all been either looted by me or destroyed by that horde. Don't want that stuff. Okay, let's go down.
Take that. Alright, let's go in this room here. If we're going to pick up chairs, let's pick them all up. There's a nice little barbed wire spiky spike place there. Feral Marlene. Uh, no, I'm not going to repair it. Screw that. Pick up those chairs. Look for the wall safes. What's that? Oh, that's just a board. It's kind of a different looking board than the usual run of the mill stuff. to go through here. We'll take that. Do I have a, a bandage? I think I put one in the mini bike. So let's just hang on to that. We'll make it. Whoops. Uh, we'll make a thingy with it. Uh, this. Yeah, I guess we'll hang on to that for now. Let's go through here because I think there's a, a door opener thingy. Oh wow, that has 7,000 hit points. Alright, let's drop down here. What could possibly go wrong, right? I'll definitely take... Yeah, I'll take both of those things. Why don't we reinforce this door? This is a tier three place, so we don't want to get too careless. Hit it again. Sometimes, you know, what happens to me is I use the, the bow for a long time and then I get used to holding the button down, right? And then you go move to the crossbow and you hit the button, don't pull pop back the string and you end up firing it. So anyway, that's what happened there. Don't really want that chrysanthemum seed. Was there anything else in here besides zombadoodles? This goes to this room. Lock picks. Hops. Pss, pss, pss. Right, let's reinforce that door. Just one? Nope, I think there's more than one. Biker Billy. Say hello to my green machine, Biker Billy. And my shotgun, too. Are we done? I think we're done. Oh, not it. <laughs> now we're done. Uh, Right? Done? Yes. Why don't we take one of these? Got a little bit thumped there. Tripod mod, nice. Ooh, we got red. Why don't we make our Kniffy red? No, let's make our snipe, sniper rifle red. I love it. It's awesome. Anything up there? Nope. 
None of that stuff's lootable. Did we get everything over here too? I think we did. So this goes up here. Right, okay. I think we just kind of went a different direction because the house was a bit torn up. Let's open these. There's also a weapons bag up there. Oh, look at that, a robotic sledge. That's the first time we've seen one of those in this playthrough. Nice. Nice. That, I think I'll scrap for parts. Always happy to take more. Those, uh, those gun, um, poster thingies are kind of cool. I, I, I think it was in Darkness Falls or maybe Ravenhurst or maybe both. You can actually pick those up and take them back and put them up for decoration. Don't believe you can do that though in vanilla. I guess we could try that. Can I pick this up? Yeah, no, it doesn't give me the option. All right, let's see here. Um, I'm going to scrap these. And I'm going to chuck the hops seed. I just need to make a little space here is all. We can make one duct tape. That'll free up one spot. And we don't need these. We can scrap those. I think we'll keep everything else for the moment. Okay, let's open this. Look at all that stuff. <clears throat> Nerd boots we're going to scrap. And can we grab all the rest of that? Yes, we can. We even have room to grab the hop seed. Don't need this, I've got a bunch of casts. Plaster cast in uh, the bike. So, okay, that takes care of this POI. Let's go back home, drop stuff off, and do another job. Oh my god, I just realized I'm still wearing the nerdy armor. <laughs> All right, uh, let's read this, this, and three of these. Hunting rifle quality six. All right, and then one more vehicle magazine. All right, let's read. Bows, primitive quality six, and knife guy. And we're gonna put our real armor back on. And I'm gonna I'm gonna carry this um, robotic turret with us so we can put it to use for us. Um, let's go ahead and eat a sham chowder. Um, if I want that to actually cook, I should probably turn it on. In fact, we probably have more water in here. One of you guys suggested to me in the comments that I should just buy all the other parts, these parts, for at least one of these. And it'll make me a lot of water quick so I can use it for glue. So I think that's something we will do. We need about 2 minutes and 40 seconds. So that should be good enough. Alright, let's eat one of these. It'll give us food, water, and heal us. And give us a point in fortitude. I still think this is quite arguably the best food in the game overall. It, does, it doesn't give you the most food, health, and water as some of the really high-end stuff like the spaghetti and all that, but it gives you that uh, fortitude buff. And it's really good. I don't think we've done anything in this, this little spot here. And there's not... A whole lot to do in here. Okay. So we just finished this house here, the Hyde residence. We've already done gears, so we can skip over that. And I believe we did the honey place too, quite a while ago. Positive that we did. Yeah, see, this window's broken. Well, 
let's go see. Yeah, see that door's open there. But if the door to the hatch is open here, then we know for sure we've done it. Yes, it is. I wonder, though, if that stuff would have repopped. Whoops, shit, that's not what I meant to do. I wonder if that stuff would have repopped down there. Let's just go look real quick. That certainly did. Um, what What is this? Oh, honey from trees. Nice. That's really nice. Yeah, this stuff definitely has respawned as far as the loot. I don't know if the end loot respawns, though. I'm going to get some zombs in here. Where are they? Okay, I see Nurse Nancy right there. <laughs> the moment I look away for one second, they're on me. Of course. All right, let's reload you. I guess that's all of them. Oh, yeah, this stuff has repopped. Oh, look at this. Bows degrade 20% slower. Yeah, we'll take that. We finally got the water purifier mod. What is? The, what are these gloves? Raider gloves. We're, we're wearing raider gloves right now. Same level, too, I believe. Yep. Okay. So, in that case, let's just scrap these for the parts. Seeds. Okay, that we want to have our nerd stuff on before we read it. Okay. Well, that was worth coming back down in here for. Oh, sure. Let's grab some plastic. I think I'm going to pick up this corn, too, because why the hell not? There's quite a bit of it, actually. More than you usually find. What's that? Is that a pumpkin? I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't pick it up, whatever it was. Let's go. Alright, that gets us all the way to the eastern end of town. We have done Jericho Ranch. I think this is one of those little wilderness POI spots, maybe? Is it? Yeah, it's got a little camp here. There's probably a zombie or two. Or a dog. No, I'm not seeing any Zeeks. Snakes? Okay. Duffel bag. Grab this. What do we get for tents? Cloth? Yeah, okay. A lantern. This is a... Oh, that's cool. Alright, we'll save that for our base. You know, for lighting in the base or something. I like you. this oh actually I didn't want that fuck off dude uh okay I guess that's it did we do we have a wandering horde or is this just a wandering Zeke We didn't kill her, but that's that's good. She'll bring our arrow to us. You don't have an arrow for me. Over here, Marlene. She doesn't have her arrow. I was hoping it'd be sticking out of her ass. 
You just pull it back out, wipe it off, and it's good to go. Kind of gross, huh? That's just a torch. Okay. So, yeah, we did Jericho Ranch a few episodes ago. So now let's... Uh, we just did that substation out there. I don't think there's anything else beyond Jericho Ranch to worry about. So let's start working our way back now the other direction. Don't think we've done this place here. All right, so let's drop some stuff off. Now let's take these. Okay, we got a full inventory. Let's do this. Oh, we've done this. Yeah, we've already done fir Firmier Residence. Because it's the place that has the crops that you can harvest back here. I'm not going to pick up those. Yeah, there's no crops here. So we have done this place. Um, I'm trying to remember where the loot is. You go cheese the loot again. Yeah, actually, I want all that stuff. I'd get, I'd make a beeline for the loot if I can remember where the hell it was at. I don't know if it's up above or down below. Let's just poke our head in here and see if I can make that determination. I think it's down below. So let's go to the base. Oh, I don't know if we can get a headshot up on this guy or not. That answers that question. Oh no, right. Okay, so this you this is where you're supposed to enter. So the loot's going to be up above. Since we're down here, then we might as well grab this stuff. Okay, so we got everything from there except for here. All those food magazines. There's probably a zombie in there. Eh, maybe not. Purple dye. Let's make our tactical purple. Wandering horde coming through. I think. Right, so we want to go upstairs. More books to loot. Oh, look at that. Nice. And like, oh. Got the attention of all of the outside Zeeks. We're upgrading that because this could get hairy. Make sure everybody's loaded. And also, let's do this. <laughs> Have I ever mentioned to you guys how much I love explosives in this game? Okay, Whew. that was 
I was getting a little worried there. That's a lot of zombies all at once, you know. But uh, Pipe Bomb took care of him. Then we got a couple bags to boot. What's that do? Uh, plant fibers in the cloth. One of the most worthless magazines in this fucking game. I tell you, I tell you what, man. That's just like, what the hell? Really? Whoever would want that? <laughs> maybe. Maybe in a multiplayer situation. Where you had someone that needed to make a shit ton of cloth or something, but... I just don't see the value in that. Okay. We're rocking and rolling here. Completely sidetracked, but what else is new? Uh, what can I do to free up some space? Well, let's read that. There's no reason not to. These we want to save for... Our thingy. Um, let's just drink the coffee. Because I use Blackstrap for mining, so. And this. I'm going to actually just chuck those. And eh, I hate throwing brass away in this game. I really do. <laughs> Don't like to do it. Don't like to do it. Um, fat, but we, we can do a scrap that. We, we already learned from a couple episodes ago that it's more valuable scrapped anyways. All right, let's move along. I'm completely wasting time here. Oh, I'm not wasting time because we're getting good loot and XP, but we're wasting time in terms of not accomplishing our goal to do all the POIs. But I've started it, so I'm going to finish it. We came in this room from the other direction. That... How much XP do we get if we read these? 50? Eh, they really are probably worth hanging on to to sell instead. 50 XP is not nothing to be excited about. I have steroids in the car or in the mini bike. Let's get it because I don't want to fight the big group up above with a bunged up arm here. Plus, we can also do this too. Take a bandage. Nothing in here. Brown dye. Yellow dye. What is that brown or yellow? It's yellow. Uh let's put that on our canifi, cause we can. Make sure everybody's loaded here. Oh, look at all those books. Or magazines rather. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Alright, here we go. Can we shoot all the way through here? Yeah, we can. Everybody's feral. All right. 
Uh, we don't need that. This is what we came for. Eh. I would have known that's all that was in there. I wouldn't have gone to all the effort, but... You know what, though? We pulled a lot of magazines out of here, so that... That made it worth it. If nothing else. Alright, guys. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. And we're just going to keep doing the, the same thing. And what I'm... What I think maybe I will do, I, I mean, the horde base is completely repaired, ready to go. I'm a bit low on resources, but I think what we might do is maybe maybe we'll do some night nighttime questing in the next episode. We'll just keep going. Um, it didn't look like any of Rex's night quests were in this town. Um, so... I think we'll just, yeah, keep randomly doing POIs. And we'll just pick up right, pretty much right where we left off in the next episode. I'll just drop all this stuff off and get, you know, fixed up and all that sort of thing. And then we'll keep on, we'll keep it on. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.